Hey, welcome back to uh, another Zoom session meeting. We're calling these uh, Zoom and with the humans. And uh, here's another human, Festily Acres. Hello. <laughs> How are you going? You are a human. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, going good. Last time I checked. <laughs> <laughs> Last time. Yeah. Hey, uh, mate, what, it's a crazy, um, it's a crazy world we're living in right about now. Um, yeah. How have you been going in the in the pandemic and and all the things that that go with it? Yeah. Not too bad. Um, in the beginning, I hated it. Like I was really struggling in the beginning. Um, but yeah, I'm sort of getting used to it now, working from home. And I'm actually meant to be in Nashville now, so that was pretty depressing, having to cancel that trip. Um, but mm. I've been doing a lot of writing on yeah. through Zoom. It's this uh, this program must be making a mozza. <laughs> um, with everyone working at home, but yeah. Yeah, but yeah I was just saying, you must have got a thousand of these. <laughs> yeah. So I've been doing a lot of um, co-writing, like I've actually been writing more than what I normally do because, you know, normally life gets in the way and, you know, you don't have as much time to be creative. So it's actually been good to, you know, have to slow down for a bit and, yeah, be able to do all the stuff I've been wanting to do, really. Are you, are you someone that, like, you know, needs to go out all the time? Are you, uh, <laughs> you know, you're an extrovert or, you you know, you're pretty just well, happy chilling? I'm a bit of both. Like... I, I hate the idea of not being able to go out if I wanted to, but if I, had choice, <laughs> I would still be at home anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, yep. like, I always used to whinge. I'd say, oh, God, I wish I could do gigs from home in my pajamas just so I don't have to leave the house. And now that I'm stuck at home, I'm whinging that I, I can't be out. So, you know, we always want what we don't have, I guess. But, um, yeah. yeah There's a song that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we're actually, I'm catching up on heaps of stuff, you know, um, as I said, I've been a lot more creative. So I've had a, a couple of children's books there that I've had half written for a long time now. I finally finished those, which um, has been on my bucket list for a long time. Um, as I said, been writing a lot more. So I'm working on a new album now. Um, so hoping to record that this year, just have to see what happens with all this, um, you know, all these regulations that we've got going on at the moment. Um, and yeah, getting lots of house renos done, which is good. So, um, can't complain. Where, where's home? Where's, uh, where are you living so, at? Lake Macquarie, uh, a place called Wanji Wanji. Oh, nice. So I originally come from Curry Curry. Now I'm in Wanji Wanji. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah. All right. And, uh, and, and, you know, as you say, plenty, uh, plenty of stuff to do around the house when you're, you're a homeowner, but what other things have you been getting up to? Have you discovered any, uh, any hobbies that you're, uh, or secret talent? That, uh, you've been well I don't know if you'd call it a talent um I have always like wanted to do painting like paint different things I don't know landscapes portraits whatever and I said to myself I'm gonna paint a portrait of Dolly Parton to start off with because you know it's not like human portraits hard or anything and oh my god it was embarrassing <laughs> can, we, can we get a look can we get a look at what you've done no nah, it went in the bin oh it was so mate bad. Come it was on. so bad um but I've been doing other, I've, I've been trying my hand at other sort of stuff, but I haven't painted anything I like yet. So <laughs> I've got to work up on those skills. And what we got there in the background, is that uh, the staghorns there? Oh yeah, we've got, um, I don't think you can see over there, that's my, I've got uh, Patsy Klein on the wall over there. We've got, uh, what's that <laughs> one up there? Oh, that's Bill Munro. Bill Munro, nice. Here, you can see, I've got Dolly Parton up here, of course. Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, and then my records in the background. <laughs> Unreal, unreal. It's it's right. also pretty cool doing these because yeah, you can sort of. Here's one I prepared earlier. Wow! Look at that! <laughs> look at that! Can we get a look at the inscription on there? Oh, uh, I feel embarrassed. I need to like I don't know how yeah. you need to, um, <laughs> look how bad it is. Oh my god! <laughs> you need some of that uh, brasso on there. Yeah, I need to put some brass on it. <laughs> no, very nice. Um, you know, and that's got to be something that you you know you'll always treasure that. Definitely. Um, we used to have a, um, a little cafe, a music scene cafe, and my husband made me put the golden guitar in there on display. I was like, oh, I feel so lame having this on display in the shop. But he made me, and he even bolted it down to the, the, um, the bench so no one would steal it. No one ran off with it. That's a great <laughs> idea. Good one. Yeah. Uh, what about, um, what about uh, some, some uh, content you've been viewing? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know you've been uh, into a bit of Tiger King. I know you guys are <laughs> yeah. enjoying that. Um, not uh, really. We are obsessed with Tiger King. Um, my husband, Jesse, is way more obsessed than me. He actually watched it twice. I've um, watched it three times. <laughs> 
So I watched it once, um, and I've had to sort of watch it in the bits and pieces that he's watched again. But um, yeah, that's that's just crazy. That documentary. It's just mind blowing that it's real. It's real life. Um, but yeah, so I've been watching a lot of Netflix, <laughs> and I've actually um, I've become you know the little Martha Stewart, been baking my own bread. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah, and okay. you know today I actually thought about downloading TikTok, and I thought, nah, things are getting a bit. They're getting a bit weird now. If I'm thinking about doing that, <laughs> I've uh, I've dabbled. Um, I'm ashamed. Yeah, I, you know, I don't even know if I'm ashamed to say it, but I know <laughs> I've done it. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, uh, so I haven't resorted yeah. to that just yet, but it's on the yeah. <laughs> early days. It's early days. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I did. Yeah, I, that was your show and tell. We've had a bit of show and tell going on in these um, Zoom sessions with yeah. which is Brad Butcher's backyard. He's been. <laughs> He's in Rockhampton and he's got a fire pit for some reason. Oh gosh, we actually yeah. put we, yeah we got a fire pit going. I think everybody in Australia has decided to have a fire. <laughs> yeah, there's there's definitely no need for a, a yeah. fire pit in Rockhampton, no, no, no Butch. Sure. So get it together. Um, Shane uh, Shane Nicholson showed me his power saw, which was <laughs> a little bit unexpected. Yeah, but, that is, um, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, he's building a studio, so it was oh, right there. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Um, you'll probably appreciate this. I'll show it Shane as well. It's uh, my uh, signed Kenny Rogers uh, ticket. Oh, that's really cool. That's awesome. A little photo with him. So that uh, lives in the office here. I'm pretty pretty proud of that bad boy. Yeah, that's awesome. That's another thing that's been great about being stuck at home. I've, I've been going through lots of, you know, things in the shed, cleaning the shed out. And I came across a lot of stuff from my very first trip to Nashville, um, mm. which was really cool. Like you forget these little things like over the years. And, um, you know, I, I found a, um, a little signed thing from uh, Charlie Leuven from when I was over there and, and got invited by him backstage to the Grand Opry as his special, ge uh, special guest. Uh, from the Leuven brothers, Charlie Leuven. So that was really cool. And just other bits and pieces of, you know, memories that you forget about over the years. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I spent a whole day, meant to be cleaning the shed, but I just spent the whole day just going through stuff and looking at it and <laughs> not doing it. Sort the memorabilia. Nice. <laughs> yeah. um, what got you into country music? I know you're a big Dolly Parton fan. Was that the... Yeah. Well, Dolly and my, my family, I come from a very musical family. Um, my mom and my nan and my aunties, they all sing. And growing up, I just thought everybody's family sang. I didn't know any different. I just thought, you know, every family get together we have, it was just totally normal that they all break into song and we sit around singing songs. But um, yeah, country music's just been a part of my life forever. I, uh, mom entered me in my very first talent quest at three years old and still got the video for that which is really cool someone we didn't have a video because we were way too poor back then to have a video camera but someone in the <laughs> audience had a video camera and filmed it and gave it to me later on in life which i'm so grateful for to have a memory like that mm -hmm. um, so yeah um mum and dad would would save up and and we'd travel around to different talent quests throughout the year um you know all over the place all over australia and and then as I got a little bit older, I, I entered different competitions and I entered the Telstra Road to Tamworth when I was 16 and, and won the Songwriters Award for that. And that got me over to Nashville. So I'd never even been on a plane before, let alone to another country. So that was a real eye opener. And I got, you know, really thrown in the deep end over there, co-writing with some of the best songwriters in the world. I'd never even co-written before. I'd written songs by myself in my bedroom, but not with you know anyone else so that was an amazing experience and then the year after that i won star maker which got me my very first record deal and uh the year after that won uh best new talent at the golden guitar so um yeah it's been a a pretty long journey for me because i've been doing it my whole life basically mm -hmm. um and i guess to others it wouldn't seem that long but yeah it's just country music has been a part of my my life forever unreal and you got a new song we're going to post the link in um, somewhere yeah. <laughs> yeah brand new single so this is um of my current album that i've got out at the moment um the single's called that ring don't fit my hand and it's a song i wrote over in nashville a couple of years ago with a guy named trey bruce he's one of my favorite songwriters we've written a lot of songs together over the years and it's just um a song it came about actually i was scrolling through facebook as you do a couple of years ago and there was a, a girl I went to school with, she was posting photos of her and her family and, you know, she was up to about her third child that she had and I was, you know, forgetting to feed my dog most days and I was thinking, <laughs> we just live so different, different yeah. lives, you know, like I'm, 
I was, you know, so career focused and all that kind of thing, which is, is so strange because everyone in my family is so opposite to me, you know. Uh, my mum was pregnant with me at 16, you know, it's just totally normal in my family to, you know, settle down, have a family, have kids as a teenager and that's just the, totally the, the normal the normal thing in my family but I was always so different growing up. I just, you know, I wanted to get out and explore the world and chase my dream and, and that's what this song is all about pretty much is not wanting to, to settle down or anything like that and, and, you know, getting pressure from your family to settle down and marry a nice guy and start a family and it's, so it's a little bit sort of about my life but also it's not about my life because I actually did settle down and get married at a young age but, you know, haven't pop the kids out or anything like that yeah <laughs> not yet yeah <laughs> well look, we uh we appreciate your zoom with us hanging out on our, um, our zoom session zooming with humans That's and <laughs> we uh we really hope to get up to queensland when um when all the uh you know everything settles back to normal yeah fingers crossed i'm meant to be up there touring in september but we'll just have to see what happens and go from there jess Juliakis, thank you you're a star Hi, me.